Hello and welcome back to Gloria Emmanuel, my amazing subscribers. Those who are watching with us, subscribing, God bless every one of you. You guys are the reason that the channel is on. May the peace of the Lord be with you. May whatever righteous you do, may it prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When man fell, there are three levels of perception that God designed in man. The highest was supposed to be discernment, followed by reason, then emotions, in that order. If you ever switch them, there will be a consequence on man. Discernment should be his highest faculty of perception, followed by reason, based on principles, and then emotions. For as long as that order is honored, the devil will never be able to penetrate man his assignment is to find a way of switching because there is a weakness with emotions the impulses of feelings i need to say that so that you will know what happened to eve are we together now yes satan was not merely talking to her uh -uh. he was seeing something in the realm of the spirit he wanted to disconfigure because until that happens he will not be able to attack her and he used words discernment then reason based on the logic of scripture and the principles of life then emotions now emotions are very powerful are we together they connect us to people they connect us to principles they connect us to our environment but emotions have a weakness you should not express them at a moment for too long they have a consequence so they are short term if you understand this satan switched it that was the idea behind a concept that is hardly understood in the body called covenant covenant was a system god invented to ensure man remains stable even though he is an emotional being so he created a system that overrides emotions so that you are sponsored by another framework that is more than what you feel more than what you think are you seeing now because if you depend on emotions the day you love god you may pray the day you don't love god you see that covenant service service in the house of god is called covenant because your emotions can make you feel bad because of cold and you won't come to church but a covenant is a system that was invented to help override your emotions and maintain consistency it's not about old or new testament no it's more than that so man fell let's let's hurry up let's make sense of this man fell watch this the bible says when man fell the lord god he called him the talking spirit that he came in the cool of the day and did not see adam god did not find adam where can i hide from your presence but now he's not seeing adam because look at the question god is asking adam where are you and Adam said, I heard your voice, but I hid because I was naked. He says, who told you? You have begun to listen. Someone has introduced an information. Who told you you were naked? You see now, the solical realm, there has been an activation of your emotions. Who did this? Who told you? And he said, the woman that you have kept with me. Now, let me share something very powerful. In the kingdom, you transfer power by transferring responsibility when the bible says do everything without complaining or arguing it's a very powerful advice do you know the moment he transferred responsibility to the woman god did not talk to him again he said woman now that this man has transferred authority to you if the woman kept quiet she will become the head of man immediately yes this is bible everything i'm telling you is scripture woman what is this that you have done the woman now said the serpent he 
he beguiled me you see where satan became the she transferred authority by blaming now satan did not complain that's what made him the god of this world so you now see why jesus stood before pontius pilate and when they were talking to him what did he do yes sir satan became the god of this world now watch this god banished man out of eden eden was not destroyed there's no record in scripture that eden was born with fire no he banished man out of eden to now what we call our earth and two things protected eden one the cherubims two the flaming sword that means it was not just a natural place that needed gates like this i told you eden is still intact eden was lifted from our domain and all we had was this our stratosphere and this our atmosphere eden is still intact hallelujah man now began to walk through his senses now let me explain something very briefly and then we'll now begin to make sense of everything i'm saying don't forget what we're dealing with the assignment all of this drama i'm acting is to get us to really understand the assignment this is where our message corporately comes out from are we blessed yeah until adam and eve there was no other dispensation recorded in bible where reproduction happened no every time god wanted to multiply it was through creation not reproduction our dispensation would be the first to see that invention are we together now so satan in all the archives of knowledge he had never knew that it was a possibility that there could be multiplication through reproduction listen very carefully and you understand why barrenness why all of these things so that it is on the strength of that knowledge that anointing can flow through you when you are praying for a barren woman you are not just attesting to the fact that you are a man of god you are coming from the standpoint of intelligence and the realm of the spirit knows that you are not just a dispenser of power blindly you are coming full of knowledge are we together now yes satan was happy because according to him he believed there would only be two people on earth so his focus was who else will be created he did not know that a strategy was now put in man are we together now suddenly the bible says and adam knew his wife satan began to see the stomach of a woman protrude what is in that stomach he had never seen reproduction and all of a sudden she gave birth to cain you now see what made satan come to cain cain was innocent what did cain do another entity so if a woman can produce another entity that means in a short time the earth will be filled with bodies that the spirit of god can rest upon and they can fulfill god's agenda and satan said let's get into that man then abel now came and satan said no cain i have to walk through you to kill abel what is the whole agenda it's a depopulation agenda does that make sense to you what is happening on earth that a depopulation agenda is not some group it's an old agenda satan had tried through dispensations and failed satan hates men because men have bodies a body has thou prepared for me find out how many people died because a child was born moses find out how many people died are we together listen this is helping to now make sense that the thing which is is the thing which has been so when you see whether it is terrorism whatever it is you now when you are praying you pray from the lens of this intelligence that we just found ourselves in the middle of history this thing it's an old story it's not about the foundation in your family that story is deeper than that it's not about the devil wanting to make you poor or not wanting you to have a child that's that is a little piece of the old story
and Cain killed Abel. When he killed Abel, now theologically speaking, they say Cain and Abel are twins because the Bible just said Adam knew his wife once and we see these two come, right? But then the Bible now says again that Adam knew his wife again. Very dangerous statement. That was a discovery that was going to shock Satan. That this potential to give birth is theoretically infinite. That made the woman dangerous. You now see why Satan looks for women. Conduct deliverance for 10 people. Eight of them will be women. It is not... A... Oh dear. I testify, I testify that your goodness is real your goodness is real i testify for a very long time i wondered why the devil will not let women rest is it just because they have a womb is it because they are beautiful is it because men pursue them no i found the reason satan listen carefully to what jesus said or god said he said the seed shall bruise the head are we together now yes there's something about women and the anger that their presence creates to the gate of hell no wonder the first person to see the resurrected christ was a woman the first person to see christ resurrected was a woman let's get back to our discussion the bible now says adam knew his wife again and she bore him a child and he named the child seth he says and men began again to call upon the name of the lord now but watch this the bible now said this guy called cain even though he killed his brother even though he talked with god he did not change that's a lesson i can spend all night there that just talking with god alone does not equal transformation cain was talking with god an encounter that very few people have had yet it did not change him proximity to the word proximity to spiritual activities does not produce transformation it means we have to invent another formula such that all those who come close to us as they are listening and they are in church for many years we shouldn't make that assumption that just because they are hearing the word of god they are changing thank you for watching 